Hey, good morning to you. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Ken Brook. I am the very proud Chief Executive of the Kent Youth League. And I wanted to give you the occasional update via my new podcast, just to let you know where we're at with uh, all things uh, football related. Um, well done to all of you so far who have managed to meet all of the guidelines that have been sent out regarding protection from the uh, coronavirus. I know it's put a lot of extra work onto clubs and uh, we are very, very grateful for the hard work that you do. And I'm hoping and I'm hoping that parents and spectators on a Sunday are trying very, very hard to maintain social distancing because I think if they can prove that there's any rise in the infection rate coming from youth football, they won't hesitate to close it down, which will not be fair to uh, any of our players that uh, are entertaining you week in, week out. Um, I'll try and keep these fairly brief because I want to obviously keep your interest but for the first one just to give you a little bit of a background as to who we are and what we do um, I'm lucky enough to have a committee that comprises of five fixture secretaries three referee secretaries a full-time administrator a part-time administrator a discipline secretary um, and a couple of other and a social media secretary, sorry, and a website secretary and all these bits and pieces that go together to hopefully bring you um, something special um, from the league. Um, everybody works hard and everybody tries their best to work with clubs and to try and bring football week in, week out. Bearing in mind we look after 189 teams and we're trying to fix uh, over 90 games every week. It's a hell of a task. That's more games than Premier, Championship, League One, League Two and National League put on every week. So I hope you can appreciate the hard work that goes into it. Um, the one disappointing thing for all of us is sometimes the behaviour of managers, coaches, parents and the players on the field. Um, we will do our best to try and eradicate from as much of it as we can. If you tell us about it, we'll act. We're not there. We have to have evidence. Um, if I accuse you of pushing somebody in the street and I'm not there, you're going to turn around and say, I didn't do it. So provide me with the evidence and we will then do our damnedest to make sure that those individuals are brought um, to task by ourselves, obviously within the law of the land. Um, most importantly of all, I hope you're enjoying the football. I hope the boys and girls are enjoying the football because I do understand it's need really for everybody to get out and about and get a little bit of fresh air on a Sunday. Um, our lives have been turned upside down this year and hopefully it replaces um, being stuck in with a little bit of normality for a few hours on a Sunday. Please, please, please work with us to continue to maintain that because we don't want to lose it and it would be a shame if the very, very small minority happened to spoil it for the majority. So for once, rather than being the silent majority, tell us what's going on and we'll hopefully take action to make sure that it isn't repeated. So that's me done for now. I'll try and keep you updated on a regular basis. Um, if you like this, please tell me. If you don't, please tell me because um, it's the first time I've done it and um, I've got no script, as you probably can see. I'm sat in my office, but I'm more than happy to keep people informed as to what we're doing. So thank you for listening and uh, more from me again soon. Thank you.